Hello, you are watching E News Bulletin of IPR Department with me, Shering Eden. Let's look at what's been making headlines in the past 24 hours. Starting with the latest COVID figures in the country. India today reported 2.64 lakh fresh COVID-19 infections, a rise of around 17,000 cases from the previous day, according to an update by the Union Health Ministry. Also, 315 deaths were recorded in the last 24 hours. The Omicron infection tally has climbed to 5,753 across the nation. So far, 28 states have reported Omicron infection. As far as vaccination is concerned, over 3 crore teens between 15 and 18 years in the country have been vaccinated with the first dose so far. According to the Union Health Ministry data, over 26,73,385 precautionary doses have been administered to healthcare workers, frontline workers and those aged 60 and above with comorbidities. In Sikkim, 294 positive cases were reported on Thursday, out of which 200 were from East District, 45 from West District, 40 from South and 9 from North Sikkim. The precautionary third dose of COVID-19 vaccine, which was launched on 10th of January 2022, is now available for all healthcare workers, frontline workers and persons above 60 years of age with comorbidities. They are requested to avail the same from the nearest vaccination centers. On Thursday, Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamong participated in a video conference called by the Prime Minister with Chief Ministers of all states and union territories. The virtual meeting was also attended by Union Home Minister, Union Health Minister and other union ministers, chief ministers of all the states and administrators of the union territories and senior officers of Government of India and the states. The meeting was convened to review the COVID-19 situation in the country and take stock of the measures implemented to curb the spread. Prime Minister Modi called for ensuring adequate health infrastructure at the state level and to carry out the vaccination drive for the adolescents on a mission mode. He said the new strain Omicron is infecting people several times faster than previous ones and added that in addition to fighting Omicron, we also need to be ready for any future variants of this virus. As per sources on the same day, Health Minister Dr. M.K. Sharma also convened a meeting with doctors and officials of all four district hospitals and SDNM hospital to take stock of preparedness on COVID-19. The final electoral roll publication with 1st of January 2022 as qualifying date was released today by the Chief Electoral Officer Sikkim D. Anandan in the conference hall of the election department. The CEO was accompanied by Joint Electoral Officer Pema Laden Lama and Deputy Chief Electoral Officer Zanko Gelsen. The final electoral roll was released in the presence of representatives of political parties of Sikkim and media persons. Addressing the press conference, CEO Anandan said that publication of final electoral roll is an annual exercise of the election department after the completion of the special summary revision which is carried out to facilitate the process of addition, deletion and various other changes. He informed that the special summary revision was carried out from 1st to 30th of November 2021. Sharing the details of the final electoral roll, the CEO informed that the total electors in the electoral roll stands at 4,44,261. He informed that there was 0.94% change in the electoral roll, which totals to 4,133 net increase. The number of new electors between the ages 18 to 19 years stands at 4,395. Among other statistics, the CEO also shared that the total number of persons with disabilities electors totals to 2,267. The CEO further informed that technology was optimally used during the special summary revision to ease the process. The Garuda app and PWD app were used extensively throughout the process. The CEO also briefly informed that the National Voters' Day scheduled for 25th of January will be organized on a smaller scale, duly adhering to the COVID guidelines. After the press conference, the CEO handed over the soft copy of the final electoral roll to the representatives of political parties present on the occasion. It was informed that the electoral roll will be available on the official website of the Office of CEO, that is, ceosikkim.nic.in. 
Nine people were killed and 37 injured when 12 coaches of Bikaner Guwahati Express train derailed and overturned near the Homoni in West Bengal's Jalpaiguri district on Thursday. The accident occurred around 5 pm in an area under Alipurdwar Division of Northeast Frontier Railway. Six of the injured passengers are in critical condition and have been shifted to North Bengal Medical College and Hospital in Siliguri. The others are being treated at hospitals in Jalpaiguri and Mainaguri. Railway Minister Ashwini Vaishnav visited the spot of accident this morning and took stock of the situation. An inquiry has been ordered to find the root cause and dispersal of compensation to the victims' families has begun. The Prime Minister has expressed his condolences to the affected families. This is all we have for today. Please like and follow our Facebook page, that is, the Government of Sikkim official page, for the most authentic news and information on recent developments in the government and the state. Please continue wearing masks, wash your hands regularly, and maintain physical distance as our fight against COVID-19 still continues. Thank you for tuning in.